hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be discussing with you what is a christian witch what is with the label christian witch and why i label myself a christian witch um if i'm looking this way it's because i wrote down some notes so if I'm not looking directly at you, that's what I'm looking at. Sorry in advance. I'm trying to make this video somewhat organized. Um, but yeah, um, so a Christian witch. Now, a little bit of background. I, I was born and raised, raised Pentecostal Christian. I was raised in a very bible belt strict christian home as i got older i started kind of questioning christianity i started kind of questioning the bible uh god and it's just like as i got older and older and older it seemed like my desire my my passion for christianity for the christian religion kind of started dissipating a lot uh, I turned by the time I was 17 or 18 I uh, decided that I wasn't a Christian anymore um, I just woke up one day and I just said I'm not a Christian you know uh, the Christian God wasn't helping me I wasn't getting no uh, satisfaction in that religion I wasn't happy in that religion I felt stuck I kind of felt imprisoned um, I felt like I didn't have no room to move I'm a free thinker I I live my life freely and in the Christian religion they teach you that basically that's not that's that's a bad way to live you're sinning I can't go by a set of rules. I That's just not who I am. I live my life freely. I live my life how I want to live it. And in Christianity, everything that I do now is considered a sin. Um, when I was in the Christian religion, I had no freedom. No freedom to be who I truly was. No freedom to 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 think freely about life about me about people no freedom to just live and just enjoy the bigger picture of life you can't do that in the christian religion so i started kind of delving into other um paths because i knew that even though i wasn't going to be involved in the christian religion anymore i knew um spirituality was still a big thing for me i still needed spirituality to make me whole to make me complete so i started researching different spiritual paths and different spiritual just different spiritualities and uh different spiritual practices all of that and i came across pag paganism and wicca i started researching on it a little bit and you know, I long story short, I realized that that was who I was. That's who I've been. You know, um, I've always felt different since I was little. I truly believe I was born a witch. I truly believe that uh, the witch side of me was deep down in, but it was hidden. Um, deep inside because of uh what my mind was conditioned with with the christian religion with religion with the dogmatic of religion uh being a witch the metaphysical the occult free thinking free spirit it was deep 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 
deep inside of me. Sorry, y'all. Uh, and when I left Christianity, all of that started coming out. All of it. I started realizing that I had been a witch for the longest time. Um, it just now started coming out. I started embracing it. I, I, I had always loved crystals, rocks. I had always loved incense, candles. I had always loved the metaphysical. I just really didn't put a name on it. Even when I was a Christian, I was intrigued by the metaphysical. I was intrigued by energies and by other beings. And when I was a Christian, I would see spirits. I would see orbs. I would see sparkles, all of that. So it was only a matter of time until I came to what I am now. Now, Christian witch, I, how, how I came to Christian witch is, it's funny because I had left Christianity, but the one, and I, I call him deity, the one deity that came back to me, that has always been with me, that was with me when I left Christianity, was Jesus. Or I call him Yeshua. Yeshua never left me. Um, and I... I started connecting and communicating with Yeshua again, and I started really having a relationship with Yeshua. Then I started, I started realizing that I connect with angels. I connect with angels on a deep, deep level. Um, I, I, I still consider the some of the Christian practices or some of the Christian beliefs I realize that I do still have. Now, I'm not the traditional Christian witch. I don't read my Bible. I don't ever. I, I, I don't believe in what the Bible says. I do believe in the miracles that Yeshua did. But I don't, I don't believe in the Bible like that. Um, the Bible contradicts itself. I do, I do believe in the Gnostic Christianity. And when I started reading on the Gnostics and the, uh, the Gnostic Christianity, um, it actually brought me back to my roots to Christianity but this time I'm on the Gnostic part of Christianity the lost books the lost gospels is what I'm on and and so I I, I, I put that in with, with, with me being a witch and me connecting with angels me um, using Psalms and Proverbs, me still believing wholeheartedly and passionately about the miracles of Jesus, me, believe, me believing in the powers of Jesus Christ and living a Christ conscious life, living like Christ, Christ-like is where I'm at now. So, um, I know I've been babbling for almost 10 minutes about my personal things, um, my personal path with it, but I'm going to delve, um, a little bit deeper into, um, what is a Christian witch? What is it? So, a Christian witch is a witch that, um, Follows the, pra the 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 path or the practices of Christianity. Um, so they um, so you have 
which is that um, they use their Christian beliefs in their practice, in their witch practice. They use their their Christian beliefs. Some people uh, use the Bible as divination. So you have some Christian witches that will uh, use the Bible like that. You have Christian Christian witches that believe wholeheartedly in the Bible, and they read their Bible every day. Um, you have Christian witches um, that still go to church. Um, you have Christian witches that uh, do spells, and during spells, they incorporate Jesus. They incorporate the Christian God. They incorporate Mother Mary. They incorporate um, uh, the saints. All of that. The apostles of Jesus. They incorporate um, the characters in the um, in in the Christian religion. So that's really what. Um, a Christian witch is Christian witch is a very broad um, topic though um, it's bigger than what we all make it to be um, Christian witch it is a blended path so you, you know you're you're a witch but then you have Christianity in with it you have some Witches that are, um, uh, they're, they're, they're a witch, but they're Buddhist too. They're a witch, but they're Jewish. They're a witch. It's a blended path. Now, for some people though, like for, for some Christian witches, some crystal pagans, Christian Wiccans, whatever you want to call them, some of them lean more towards the Christian religion and they may use pagan beliefs. They may use Wiccan practices in their Christian religion. So you can also have it like that. Um, you can, me, I, I, I lean more towards uh, witch that I my my whole practice most of my practice is witch wiccan paganism that's that's me but I incorporate Jesus I incorporate the angels I incorporate the psalms and the proverbs I believe wholeheartedly wholeheartedly in the miracles of Jesus so I I still have some Christian beliefs that I blend in to my practice of being a witch. When I do spells, I call upon Yeshua. I call upon the angels, the archangels. Sometimes when when I do spells, I use um, I use the Psalms. Um, I have this book called The Power of the Psalms. Um, I may do a review on that um, in another video. But I definitely um, incorporate psalms into uh, my spells, into the work that I do. Um, being, being a Christian witch, Wiccan or pagan, a Christian Wiccan or Christian pagan, who, or who can you really believe in? How many gods or deities can you really believe in? When you're on the blended path, when you're a Christian witch, can you only believe in the Christian God? Can you, is that the only um, God that you can believe in? Because in Christianity, it says that you can only believe in one God. There's only one God. And the Christian religion, that's what they preach, one God. Paganism, you know, um... You, you you can have multiple gods. So, being a Christian witch, with me and with my beliefs, I believe that 
you can believe in however many gods you want to believe in. If you hard if you wholeheartedly believe that there is only one God and that's the Christian God, then you can believe in that. Um, you know, this is where the clash comes. This is where um, you know the arguments about Christian witches come in because. You know, you, you you have people that say, Oh, you can't be a witch and a Christian. You 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 can't be a Christian and a witch. It doesn't mesh. It doesn't work together. You know? And one of the first things that they will bring up is the gods. Monotheism, polytheism. That's what they will bring up. And um, what I have to say about it is that you're you're a witch, you know. Uh, you're a Christian witch, but you're a witch nonetheless. Um, you have crystal pagans, crystal pagans, pagans. Um, you have pagans that believe in two, three, four gods. I believe in multiple gods. And 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 Christian, uh, crystal pagan Christian witches. I don't believe there's no right or wrong way to do it. In the case that if you're leaning more towards paganism, towards witch, the witch path, and you're only adding the Christian beliefs, I don't see no right or wrong. I feel like you can believe in whoever you want to believe in and whatever you want to believe in. You know, um, people have their right. You know, you um, you can be a Christian witch and lean more towards the witch path, but only believe in the Christian God. And so... You know, the people that is that don't know nothing about this path or is ignorant to the to the fact um, and ignorant to the path, they don't understand the incorporation, the 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 how 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 the how the blend could work because to me it's 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 only adding to my path it's it's only infusing growing building my path into more fruition you know what i mean because i yeshua or jesus has been by my side since birth and 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 and, and he's been by my side when i was a christian He's been by my side when I uh, realized who I was and started trying to trying to embrace it. But I like for me, I don't believe in the traditional Christian Jesus. Like I said, I lean toward the Gnostic Christianity. I lean toward uh, the Lost Gospels. But nonetheless, I still am a Christian witch. I'm just incorporating um, Jesus. I'm incorporating um, the Gnostics. I'm incorporating um, different different things about the Christ, uh, the Christian religion into my path. I don't have no issue with the Christian religion. Um, except the fact that it it it, call, it 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 conditions you, it it brainwashes you, um, to where you feel like you're stuck. You feel like you 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 you're 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 imprisoned. Um, a lot a lot of people can say. Well, but you're a Christian witch, so how does that work? 
it works because I only incorporate some beliefs from the Christian religion. I'm not incorporating the whole Christian religion into it. You know, um, like with the Bible. The Bible, I don't read the Bible. I use the Psalms and um, I'm, I'm starting to use Proverbs in my spells and in my rituals. I don't read the Bible. There, there, there's some Christian witches who do, and that's perfectly fine. You know, that's their path. There is so much judgment um, with Christian witches, Christian pagans, and Wiccans, um, because you know if. If you say you're a Christian witch, you know, the Christian side is going to condemn you um, badly. Um, and then you have the, the, um, the witches on the other side, the witches, the pagans, the Wiccans, that is going to kind of tilt their head a little bit and be like, yeah, that's how how can that work how 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 can you be a witch and 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 be a christian and still have those christian beliefs and still believe in the christian doctrine and 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 still believe in that kind of religion that says that witches are to be killed witches are to be murdered what people don't understand about Christian witches, about some Christian witches, we don't incorporate the whole Christian uh, way. You know what I'm saying? Some of us incorporates the Bible. Some of us incorporates Jesus as deity. Some of us incorporates Mother Mary. Some of us incorporates the angels, the archangels. Some of us incorporate um, the parts of the Bible. But there should be no judgment anyway in how we choose to do our path and how we choose to live our path. In my opinion, and, and, and I'm, I'm going to talk about this a little bit more. In my opinion, Christians act like witches too. With the incense, with the candles. When they pray, when, 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 when Christians pray, they're sending intention into the universe incantations okay when they're going to the altar the altar they're doing rituals okay um eating the bread and drinking the blood of jesus that's a ritual so you know that's another issue that i that i have with with the christian religion by itself is there so much judgment but we as witches you're doing the same thing as us witches you you just don't want to say it you as a christian don't want to say what you're really doing because in the Bible, we're, or do, we as witches are doomed to death, doomed to hell. We as witches are to be killed. But the same way that I light my incense, the same way that I light candles, the same way that I go, the, 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 the same way that I go to my altar, the same way that I do ritual, Christians, you do the same thing. So, talking about you can't be a Christian and a witch 
at the same time, all we're doing is incorporating. That's all we're doing. And really, if if you really want to get technical with it, which is by themselves, if 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 even 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 if you want to continue to say that you know a witch can't be um 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 along with a Christian or a Christian can't be along with a witch. We as witches are are praying. We as witches are sending incantations. We as witches are doing the same thing you're doing. So I don't even know why witches are judging Christian witches and crystal pagans. Because... First of all, witches, pagans, and Wiccans. What happened to no judgment? What happened to free spirit, free thinking? What happened to living your life however you like as long as no harm is done? What happened to that? What 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 happened to respecting each other's pa- uh, paths? What 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 happened to loving one another wholeheartedly? What happened to that? Why are we arguing and judging, especially us as witches? You know, um, Christianity. is a very judgmental religion christianity is a very um a very um in my opinion very stuck up um religion that 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 brainwashes you um horribly but see i don't go that deep into christianity because i'm more of a witch I label myself as a witch. I don't believe in the Christian God. I don't I I I I I barely believe in the things that the Christian Bible say. I'm incorporating things. I'm taking pieces of 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 Christian beliefs and I'm using them to infuse my path, to build my path. To broaden my path. That's all I'm doing. And 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 that's all Christian witches and pagans are doing. We're we're incorporating, we're getting bits and pieces of 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 the Christian belief and we're bringing it in. We're 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 not bringing in the judgmental part. We're not bringing in the 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 negative part. We're not bringing in the rules. We're not bringing in the the all all of that. Me, I don't go by the Ten Commandments. I go by how I live, and that's me being a witch. I'm more of a witch than anything. But yes, I I I I call myself a Christian witch. Because I I believe in the miracles of Jesus. I believe in the Psalms. I believe in the power of prayer. The power of prayer is 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 um, uh, touching and, and and deep. I believe in the power of angels, the archangels. You know, I, I, I have a, um, I have an archangel amulet for protection. I incorporate 
Krishna believes into my practice because that's what completes me. You know, parts of it could be um, because I came and was born into that religion. That could be part of it. That is part of it. But no matter what, I am always going to be a witch, no matter what. I don't label, I don't label myself as a Christian witch. If someone asks me what I am, I'll just say witch. I'll even go as far as to say eclectic witch. But deep down, Jesus, prayer, the angels is incorporated into my practice. Because that's what helps my practice. That's what helps me grow. It's okay to believe in more than one God. It's okay to lean more towards paganism, but have the Christian beliefs. It's okay to lean more towards Christian religion, but still incorporate pagan beliefs, still incorporate um, the witch life. It's fine. All that matters is that your path is making you happy. All that matters is that you feel whole, you feel complete. That is all that matters. That's all that matters. All that matters is that you're living the best life that you can. No matter what you believe in, that's all I care about. As long as you're happy, as long as you're positive, as long as you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Living life. Do, do, do no harm to others. But living a positive life freely. However you choose to live it, that's how you live it. And that's how I live it. I hope this message... This video touched and helped someone. I know Christian witches and crystal pagans, Christian Wiccans is, um, uh, it's a very touchy topic, but I wanted to touch on it because, uh, it's very important to me as I do incorporate Christian beliefs. I, I incorporate Buddhism. I incorporate, um, Catholicism. But Christianity, but like Christianity, since I was born into that, that's my roots and that's what I know. So, yes, Jesus, prayer, angels, archangels, yes, I, 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 I bring that in. And you have the choice to bring whatever you want in into your path as long as it's good as long as it harms nobody have a blessed day have a blessed morning night afternoon wherever you are whenever you're watching this this message is for you whenever you um come come along this video there's a reason there's a reason and there's a message. There's some clarity that you need. There's a message that you need to hear in this video. Have a blessed day. Stay blessed. I love each and every one of you. Stay blessed. Stay positive in the best way that you can and in the best way that you know how. I love y'all. Blessings. <laughs> Blessed be. Blessed be.